you can see just how bright that sun is today. It's brilliant. It goes in and out every now and again, but for majority of the time, we've got really nice, bright, natural sunlight. So once you get days like this, take advantage of it. I'm just doing a very quick update on these peppers. They're the ones we've been growing indoors. You can see we've got some really nice, healthy looking plants there. And we keep them indoors on an heat mat. We keep them under lights. And we've done that since they first germinated. And you can see we've got a really good result. These are sweet bell peppers, but they're not the round ones, they're the long ones. We grew some last year, so I wanted to try a few more. And as I mentioned a few days ago, we forgot about this little fella. We left it in greenhouse for about three days, day and night, and it coped perfectly fine. Luckily, we didn't get any minus temperatures, otherwise it would have been a different story altogether. But it's probably a good idea to pot this on now, since everything else has been done and we just forgot this one. We're starting to get quite a bit of root build up now. And we don't want any areas plants to suffer from getting root bound so that's just a quick little job for today and while i'm doing that and other things around the garden for the next few hours these peppers can stay outdoors it's perfectly warm in this greenhouse today because of that sun that we keep getting and i can turn my lights off for a few hours save a little bit electric even though don't get me wrong they take hardly any electric because the LED ceiling lights and they're only five watts but every little bit does help us and these plants will benefit a lot more from natural sunlight than they will artificial light and they are getting to the stage now where we've got about four sets of true leaves on them so a little treat for us peppers this afternoon and we won't forget to take them back in later the first time I do that that weather will shift and if it gets too cold and you leave your peppers outdoors there's a good chance that you could lose them and that really would be a shame after all this time growing them indoors plus you might also have a problem with aphids we haven't got any last year we couldn't get rid of them there were so many we still managed to grow some peppers mine but it doesn't do your plants any good because the aphids just drain all the sap from the leaves and then the leaves eventually die off and ultimately it becomes end of your plant. So if you do see any little dots on your plants, little black dots underneath your leaves or all along your stem, they're aphids and they're basically slowly destroying your plants. And a quick way to get rid of those is to just take them outside hold them in your pot like that and then just blast them with some water and it will knock pretty much every one off. So between now and moving these plants onto a bigger container that's something you definitely need to keep your eye on because indoors there's no natural predators like ladybirds or wasps that feed on aphids. And a good thing to know as well as you do move these to the outdoors maybe sometime in mid spring weather allowing you might notice a lot of ants and that doesn't just apply to peppers it applies to quite a lot of different plants if you see lots of ants running up and down the stems of your plants they're there for a reason they're not just art to get the steps up put it that way what they're doing is they're protecting aphids that will be on your plants because when the aphids feed on the leaves of your plants they don't take everything, they leave a little bit behind. And that's a little present for those ants because the ants will feed on what's been left behind. And at the same time, they will then protect the aphids from any predators. So it's a mutual agreement. The ants leave the aphids alone. The aphids are protected by the ants. The ants get to eat what's left. So if you do see any plants, lots of ants on them check underneath all your leaves check your stems because nine times out of ten 
you've got a problem with aphids. And that's the only reason the ants are there. So having said that, whether you knew that or not, we are going to leave these out for a few hours today. Keep his eye on that weather, although I think it's going to be perfectly fine for pretty much most of the afternoon. I'm keeping them eye up as well, away from slugs. And while we're in here, I might as well do this little plant a favour and get it potted on. You've probably seen me do it before, but just part fill that pot. Get your plant out. Rough those edges up a little bit. And I can see it's quite dry on the bottom as well. So we might give them a good bottom soaking while they're in here too. And then just push that plant in there nice and firm, nice and central. Fill in around that edge. If you give it a shake, it'll settle itself as well. And then you can just compact it down a little bit and straighten it as you go. And there we go, that's that plant repotted. So that's that final one sorted out from this batch and I need to get some bell pepper seeds as well because I also want to grow some of those. It's not too late to start growing peppers at this time of year but you need to do it as soon as because they need a long growing season. So that's them all done. But while they're out here I'm going to mix up a little bit of tomato feed and give all these plants a boost of nutrients. They can soak up that while they're out here for a few hours, also getting the benefits of proper sunlight and then later we'll pop them back indoors where we know they're going to be safe. I've just filled a couple of jugs so I'm just giving them a weak solution of feed. If you haven't got tomato food you could use some seaweed or something like that. Whatever you've got, you don't need a lot. And sometimes I'll make a mix of both, just small amounts of each. That's going to give them a really good boost in nutrients and it'll last them for quite a while. So just a quick mix and then we can give us plants a good feed. So I'm putting quite a bit into these because it's just going to soak right through and they're outside so they're going to be drying out quite a bit but once I've done this and they've had a proper deep watering we'll not have to water them for probably a week and they've got that really big boost the nutrition on top which is important so give them a good soaking and that's them plants done and what's left will pop into carrots. Carrots don't need a lot of nutrients to keep them going, we know that. If you give them too much, it can cause them to fork, but these have not had much of anything in the way of nutrition, probably since Christmas, and they're also ready for a watering. So it doesn't hurt to just give them that bit of a boost. And you might have noticed I was just pouring it over the top we're not at that point at the moment where the sun's going to get so hot it's going to burn those green tops. And while we're at it, we'll give a bit of a feed to that garlic at the same time. I'm sure they're going to appreciate that. And a little bit to those sweet peas. But I am pouring this around the base of these plants. You can hear how dry that compost is. The water is basically running straight through. They were definitely overdue for watering. So I'm just carefully doing this so I don't pour it onto the leaves. And that's the sweet peas done as well. And a little bit left. So since half of that's just run out, we'll pop some more in. And that's the job well done. We'll leave those out there. So everything has had a good feed today. Everything has had a deep watering. And now we're going to leave it to take advantage of that natural sunlight and boost these peppers growth as much as possible. 
And if you'd like to follow progress of these peppers, amongst other things that we're going to be sowing and growing over the next few weeks, then please hit that subscribe button, press that notifications bell, and I look forward to seeing you then. Take care.